Cedar Creek travels to Salem in a Saturday afternoon clash. The Pirates are looking to build off of last week's win against Willingboro, while the Rams are trying to rebound after a loss to Pleasantville. Both defenses stood tall to open the game, but Cedar Creek gets things going on their second drive. Quarterback Louis Barrios throws left and finds his man Malachi Melton, and the Purdue commit will get up the sideline for the first down. Next play, Barrios rolls left and dumps it off to number three, Jojo Bermudez, and he gets the corner, runs it down the sideline before getting knocked out just outside the 10. First down now, and the Pirates are looking towards the end zone. Barrios tosses up to number 13, Aaron Richardson, and he pulls it down for the 11-yard touchdown. Cedar Creek would miss the extra point, and it's 6-0 midway through the first. A short punt by Salem would give the Pirates great field position on their next possession. Barrios hands it off to number 20, Richard McQueen, and he'll make a couple of defenders miss, slips, runs it up the sideline, and is knocked out at the one-yard line for a 24-yard gain. The Pirates are knocking on the door, and Barrios calls his own number. The senior sneaks it in for six. The extra point is good, and Cedar Creek extends the lead to 13 with 3.50 to go in the first. Cedar Creek forces a turnover on the ensuing possession and are looking to take total control of this one. Barrios will sling it short to Melton, and he will do the rest. A 45-yard touchdown for the senior puts the Pirates up 20 to nothing with 11 seconds left in the first quarter. Second quarter now, and Cedar Creek is backed up at their own nine-yard line. Barrios will throw a screen to number seven, Jeremy Taylor, with room to run, and the senior is going to take it all the way to the house. It's a 91-yard touchdown, and the Pirates take a commanding 27-0 lead with 8.48 left in the first half. The Rams are looking for a spark on the ensuing kickoff, and number 20, Kayon Lewis, is looking to give it to him. He's going to slip a couple defenders, find some room, runs it all the way down the sideline, gets knocked out at the 25-yard line to give the Rams their best starting field position of the day. A mishandled snap leaves the Rams a third and long when quarterback Brett Smick finds number nine, Kassir Street, and Street will fight his way to the sticks for the 18-yard gain. Fourth down now, and Smick will hand it off to number five, Savion Bentley. He spins but cannot get through the wall of Pirate defenders. However, he gets just enough to extend the drive. Fourth and goal from the nine now, and Smick is looking for Street, but the ball is knocked away by number 24, Zach Ricci. Salem turns it over on downs, and the Pirates head into halftime, still up 27 to nothing. We jump ahead to late in the third quarter, and Cedar Creek is on the move again. Barrios making changes at the line of scrimmage, and it's going to prove to be the right call. He'll hand it off to senior Manny Reed on the jet sweep. Reed will get the corner, and he is off to the races. It's a 45-yard touchdown for the senior, and Cedar Creek takes a 34-0 lead after the extra point. Salem would score a couple of touchdowns in the fourth quarter, but it would not be enough as Cedar Creek wins in impressive fashion, 34-12. The Pirates improved 2-0 and will be on the road again next week for a marquee matchup against Camden. The Rams fall to 0-2, and they will host Shallot next week. From Salem, this is James Mooney, JerseySportsZone.com.